Hi, my name is Mark Schmeeby, and I've created the Live Hope Minute. I'm on a quest to understand what hope really is. Not just like a fingers crossed, boy, I sure hope this happens kind of an optimism, but like, what is hope really? I started the Live Hope Minute as an assignment to myself, really, to see if I could find out what is at the core of the gospel. What is this hope that I've heard of my entire life? And it's been an amazing journey as I've had to every month come up with new Live Hope Minutes. I've always wanted to do music, but it's more than just about the notes and the melodies. It's about the message behind the music. And as I saw that more and more of my songs were coming out, all focusing on the concept of hope, and people were rallying around these songs, I knew that my mission was confirmed. I had to find out what hope is, not only for myself, but for so many other hungry people around. Whether you're someone who is in church every Sunday or someone who never attends a service, we all have a similar longing for hope and meaning and purpose. But for some of us, it's like we've become well-intentioned learners of what we're supposed to believe, that the concept of how to let our faith and beliefs be lived out has been lost in a tangle of theology, worship, and sin management. Let's think about hope in a tangible way and uncover some interesting ways we can live hope to the world. So I've taken all this information that I've studied and all this stuff that I've thought about for five years and I put it into a one minute daily devotional and it is called the Live Hope Minute. It's on about 250 radio outlets right now around the US and Canada and even South Africa. So it's horribly exciting, but I'm very thrilled to be able to put it into your hands as well right now with the release of the Live Hope Minute. One year daily devotional Every day, you're just going to explore another concept of hope. And uh, I can't wait to see how it changes your life. I don't want to have a who knows kind of attitude toward hope. I want it to be certain. The key for me is to view hope not as an emotion, but rather as a posture I can choose to adopt every minute of every day. My desire is to help you to become a champion of hope. To not just know what it is, but how to live hope to the world, your city, your street, your home, but most importantly, your heart. Please visit livehopenow.com for all the details.